Welcome to this video on using a quick shortcut to sum cells in Microsoft Excel. So if you've got a bit of information like I have on the screen, I've got some different products and I've got some different amounts, I might want to get a total of each of those rows, whether that be horizontal or vertical, and I can start to type in functions and formulas and things like that. But actually, there's a really quick shortcut that can help you out with this. So I'm just going to press into that cell F2 at the right of that first product data. And I've got four cells there with information in. And what I'm going to do, my quick shortcut is just Alt and Equals. So I'm going to do an Alt Equals. The system knows I want to count. I want to sum all of those figures together. I want to add them together. It's selected the data directly to the left, so it's clever enough to know that's the data I probably want to grab hold of. It's got B2 to E2, so that's all four of the cells I'm looking for. I've got the equal sum and I've got the bracket, so all of my function is correct. And all I need to do is press enter. And that's now added up all four of those cells. So I know for that product ended in 75, I've got 4,650. And then to do that for the rest of them, I'm just going to, just like any other formula or function I put in, I'm just going to hover over the bottom right of that cell and I'm going to drag that down and it will pull that function down for me. So very quickly there, without having to mess around with functions or anything, starting to type in equals, I've been able to use alt and equals. The system has identified what I might want to sum and then pulled that in for me. That'll also work at the bottom as well. So if I scroll down and click on that cell, so I'm now in B16, I'm looking at the vertical. If I do the all equals again, it's identified that I probably want to count up the figures above. So again, it's picked the right ones. It's got, I've got B2 to B15, which is perfect. I'm gonna press enter. And again, I can scroll that across pull it across and I can even pull it across to the last one and I get my total there. Now sometimes when you do this you do get little warnings so you can go through that because it looks like it's thinking it might have emitted adjacent cells so you can either work through that error or you can ignore it if you want to. You can select ignore or you can just ignore it on your screen and whatever works best for you. So super, super quick shortcut there to allow you to count the information in your cells. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.